Looks like you're, you're staying busy with mixed martial arts now, so uh, can we say the, the transition is complete? No more kickboxing? This is MMA full-time? Well, I can say um, kickboxing is not like I am quit with kickboxing because I still have my uh, world title uh, Bellator kickboxing. And um, yeah, for now I just, uh, I just have a new focus and a new goal and that's the MMA title. So now I concentrate on this goal, and, but I can't say that I'm stopped with kickboxing and my title is anywhere. No, it still is here. <laughs> Very nice. Let's talk about your approach to training. I mean, you have such a, a great striking pedigree. I wonder, I mean, do you train that a lot in order to keep that sharp and to take advantage of how good your striking is? Or, you know, do you feel like it's important to do more wrestling, more jiu-jitsu to, to make yourself more well-rounded? Yeah, well, I do I do a lot. I do uh, wrestling, I do beye, but I focus on two times. But I don't um, forget my stand-up game because that's my strongest game. But some people forgot that I'm from original, I'm a judo, judoka. I have my black belt, so that's my origin. So working on the ground and uh, takedowns, that's something that I'm not, that's not, you know, not, um, uh, that I'm not familiar with. But um, yeah, I, with this fight and with all my, my MMA fights, I just focus on, on both goals, my stand-up game, but also my ground game. I've, I want to be on both sides really good. So, um. so I wonder when people call you a kickboxer, like, do you almost like, get upset that they don't recognize your judo black belt? Or is it kind of like your secret weapon that you'd rather them <laughs> not know that, hey, I, I, yeah. I got more than you think I got? I think it's my secret weapon. <laughs> Let they think, oh, that's a kickboxer, and that's a kickboxer. I remember with my first MMA fight that people say, hey, yeah, that's a second kickboxer. They think she's she can do MMA also, but they forgot that I'm I'm my background is judo, so I see it as a secret weapon. Very nice. <laughs> Uh, this is your MMA debut in the United States, first time we'll get to see you. I mean, does it feel special, unique? I mean, I know you've had a lot of big fights all over the world, but um, I don't know, first time MMA in the States, does it feel special yeah. or big? It is, it is special. I know that, that the U.S. is an MMA country and um, here all the big stars came from. So, yeah, I'm, I'm honored and I'm really happy that Bellator gave me this chance to fight here because, uh, yeah, I see it as, as, as a debut in the U.S. for my MMA, for my MMA career. So, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this fight. You're probably going to be the, uh, the villain, right? I mean, you're, you're fighting against somebody who's from here, who's fought in this building. <laughs> I'm sure they'll probably boo you. Uh, is that okay? I mean, do you, do you enjoy almost being the, the, the <laughs> bad guy or is it uh, rough? What do you think? Well, I'm, it's something that I'm used to with. It, um, my two world titles I fought in the home of my, my opponent, so I'm used to that. And I'm just visualizing everything that, that can happen that day. And I know that I'm the underdog and, you know, that she, came from, she comes from here. So I, I'm, I, yeah, I pretend for, for everything. And, uh, for me, I don't care. It's for, it's just me and her in that cage, and that's the only thing that matters. Stylistically, what do you think about the matchup? Uh, what do you think about her as an opponent? And she says she wants to stand and scrap with you and bang. Do you do you believe that? How do you think this fight's gonna play out? Uh, I think it's a really good good opponent for me, and I see in all her fights that she wants to stand up, and she she they call her scrappy feta. So um, yeah, I, I see a lot of her fights, and she's a good opponent for me. But I see also some weakness, some weakness points, and uh, I work on that. And I know that my stand up game, there's nobody in this division that's better in stand up game than I am. So. That's the only thing that matters. So she, if she thinks she can go with me stand up, no problem. If she go on the ground, also no problem. But stand, my stand up game for sure is the best. How fast do you see your MMA career progressing? I mean, you're, you're a world champion and striker. You're still very new in this, but I mean, do you want, are you thinking title aspirations right away? Do you want a quick road to the top? Do you feel like you need time to develop? How do you see your path? Well, I, it all depends on Bellator. If they think I'm ready for the title shot, I am ready. And if they think after this, if I, after this win for me, of course, <laughs> then if they, the another opponent in this division is also good for me. For me, it doesn't matter. I take any fight step by step. I don't visualizing like 
10 fights away or maybe five or maybe two i don't know but i just focus on this fight and that's the important thing that i um that i that i that i win of course <laughs> and then after that fight we're gonna see further well should on paper it looks like it should be a fun fight but when you play this thing out in your head how do you think this fight goes i think that um well i see a lot of weakness points in her stand-up game so I hope that she gets her 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 gear up, <laughs> and um, yeah, if she want to go to the ground, also for me no problem. But for sure, this fight is the win for me.